Welcome. Today we'll be going through UPS troubleshooting with the Eaton UPS. So please note before we get started, this is specifically for the Eaton UPS 5S 1200, which is the model you can see on screen right now. If this isn't your model, most of these steps will still roughly apply, though you'll probably need to go through your user manual and make sure that it is roughly the same as what I'm going to say through the video. So we'll get stuck right into it. So while we're looking at it on the right hand side, we've got the master socket and the two other powered sockets or the battery backup sockets. So all of these also have surge protection. So if there is a surge, they're protected. And this is where you'll want your main pieces of kit to be plugged into. So that would be point of sale and touchscreen if they're not an all in one, perhaps your scanner, the things you deem critical as part of the point of sale in the case of a power outage. Those are the things you definitely want plugged in on the right hand side. On the left hand side, these units will be protected by the surge protector. They will not retain any power during the case of a blackout or any sort of electrical storm that knocks things out. So to demonstrate, I'll plug my phone in on the right hand side. You can see I'm now getting a charge. So what I'll do is I'll unplug the UPS from here and you'll actually hear it kick in. And after a second of being off power, you'll hear the beep. If you hear this beep, have a look at the front of the unit. There's a mute button, which is the third button in sequence. Click that, it will bring up the display. And on the display, it will tell you how many minutes of charge it thinks it has. And it'll indicate that it's in battery mode, indicated by the battery at the top of the LCD display. So what I want to point out, these minutes, 85 minutes, will be dramatically cut down the more powerful of a unit that's plugged in. So a point of sale won't give you 85 minutes compared to a phone charger. These units are typically just there to keep the devices safe and ready to be shut down safely, not actually to be run off of as if it was a generator. While we're on the backup, I'll show you what it looks like from just a device perspective. So at the moment, my phone's still plugged into the charge socket. I'll plug it into the eco mode. We're not on the mains with the UPS right now. It's unplugged and you'll see that I don't get any charge whatsoever to my phone in this mode. And then when I swap it back to the powered mode, which is the ones on the right hand side, and at this point in time, it's the only device plugged into this unit, so I'm gonna plug it into the master socket as well, I do get charge to my phone. So just remember if you want a device to continue getting power, in the case of a power outage, it needs to be plugged into the right hand side of the UPS. If it's on the left hand side, it will not get power in the case of a power failure. So let's talk about the UPS itself actually failing. So this can happen from either the unit itself being very, very dated or the battery inside the UPS not being replaced every year or two and not having any charge. So what you do is unplug everything from the back of it and then plug it into either a wall point or into a power board like what I've got here. And this is just what we refer to as bypassing the UPS. So you wanna do that until you can get the UPS either replaced or repaired and that will get you trading in the meantime. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please give us a call. Otherwise, don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time.